All right, let's look at it. So we're, I'm not worried about the answer. It's the process. The process. We gotta know the process, right? Because you can do the process and you can do any problem. Just giving the answer doesn't tell me much, right? Because I want you to be able to learn the process so you can then apply it to a whole bunch of different types of problems. So what are we looking for? Centimeters. We want to know how many centimeters. Where are we going to start? We only have one thing to start with, right? 2.44 feet. Does anybody know any conversions that deal with feet? Well, I know one. 12 inches is one foot, right? So I'm going to do that one. feet. And then I say, well, I have inches and I have centimeters. There's a fact that I asked you to know, isn't there? 2.54 centimeters is one inch. And so I write one inch on the bottom first and 2.54 centimeters up here. Inches cancels. When I'm left with the unit that I want, I've done the problem. Okay. Multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom. Make sense? Yeah. 2.44 times 12 times 2.54. I don't know where that is. How many? What does it tell you on the, on the calculator? 74.372. One, two. How many six figs should we have in our answer? Two. <laughs> blast off! Three, three, two, one, blast off, right? How many people say three? How many people say two? How many people say one? How many people say, I really don't know, Dr. Powell, just tell us what it is? <laughs> six! Six! <laughs> six. That's how many are right there. Yeah. That's what you got there, you? It ain't six, I can tell you that. What are the rules for sick pigs for reporting sick pigs? When you're multiplying and dividing, the one that has the fewest number of sick pigs tells you how many you're supposed to have in your answer, doesn't it? So, when we multiply and divide, all right, now here's the key. What do we know about this one right here? Is there anything special about this fact right here? This is exact, isn't it? Good Lord, what's going on here? That's exact. What about this one? It's exact too. So we don't need to use these to worry about sig figs. So how many sig figs do we have in our answer? Three. Three. So. I get rid of the seven, it makes a three go to a four. Yep. Somebody in the last class said, well, I know the rules, but then I have trouble getting the right answer. I'm like, well, if you know the rules and you don't really know the rules, you might be able to recite the rules, but you don't know the rules if all you can do is recite them. Because reciting them doesn't do you any good if you can't apply them, right? Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah certain people remind the other people as you know. You had a, there's a girl a couple years ago, more weird cuts like three years. Did you meet her twin? Um. <laughs> Is this one easier? Yeah, I think I did it right. All right, what do we have? What are we trying to find? Minutes. We're trying to find minutes, right? What are we starting with? 1.4 days. Do we know any relationships for days? 24 hours. What about 365 days in a year? Yeah. That don't help me, does it? We know that, but it doesn't help. That's a wrong turn. Because you're going in the wrong direction. We know that one day has 24 hours. Is that exact? That's a definition of a day, isn't it? So that's exact. We get rid of days. Then what do we got? One hour, 60 minutes. What's the answer? 20,000. How many? 2,000. 16? No, it should be 2,000. So the answer should be how many six figs? Two. So I want to get rid of these. Uh oh. That's only one. I know, I'll just put a decimal right there. I no, can't do that. Who said that? Who said that? Speak up. <coughs> 2.0 times 10 to the third. Um, third time? 2.0 times 10 to the third. How'd you get that? Because that's the only way two, there would be two sig figs. That's the only way you can write 2,000, which is two sig figs, right? Because if I put a decimal back here, it makes four sig figs. I can't put one in the middle anywhere because that changes the value, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's no longer 2,000, it. So 2.0 times 10 to the third minutes. That's two sig figs. So if we were to have a question like that, we would. what would be the correct answer? 2016? 2.0 times 10 to the third minutes. We would have to answer it like that. Yes, because 2016 has four sig figs and this only had two. Can't report four sig figs. To the third, oh, I see. Because of 2000. All the way to the two, also. Yep. Okay. All right, ready for another one? Now, the other class, I put this one up here. It immediately, look, it's right there. You don't have to look right there. I don't know why I do that. It immediately, everybody goes, oh, no. When you read this problem, what's different now between this one and the last one? You got meters in there instead of days and minutes and seconds. You know all those units, don't you? You learned those since you were in kindergarten. How many hours, how many minutes turned into an hour and all that stuff. Now what about with this one? It's got meters and stuff in it. And you automatically go, uh-oh, don't you? Don't do that. <laughs> no, y'all can do it. Yeah. 
chemistry class. I just had this one. <laughs> I want to ask for her name so that next time you can say, hey, psst. Name so you just go ahead. You know, it's very polite, but you can answer her name, right? Yeah. Cassandra. And then you go next week. So tell your name. Y'all should get to know each other, right? Might be helpful at some point. No? You don't think so? Study groups might be helpful. Maybe. This is hard because it's metric, so it's me I used to use it. Yeah. All right. I think so. I look at it when I walk by. All right. Watch. Here's what I do. I'm going to collect all the information that I have. I have 65 meters in one minute. Everybody agree with that? That's how you write that. And so when you write it like that, what does it tell you? What does it tell you about this? Is this going to be a place you're going to start? No. No, no it's a conversion, isn't it? It's got two units of conversion. Uh -huh. Then I'm going to write down 7.5 kilometers, kilometers. Do you recognize anything here? Do I know a relationship between those two? Yes. yes. One kilometer is a thousand meters. I asked you to know that, right? I said that prefix kilo, gotta know what it means. It's a thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay? So here are three useful facts that might get me somewhere. Let's work on it. So what do I want to know? I want to know minutes. Where am I going to start? I'm going to start here. We said we can't start there. In this, we're going to turn that into a conversion, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the only place we can start. 7.5 kilometers. Well, what do I got next? I got to put kilometers on the bottom in the next step, right? Yes. One kilometer is a thousand meters. Fair enough? Yes. Now, I got to get rid of meters, don't I? Mm -hmm. So meters has to go on bottom. So all I have to do here is it's fair to flip it upside down. No problem to flip it upside down. 65 meters is one minute. What was the answer? 120. 120 to two sig figs. Mm -hmm. I got the calculator one. Huh? I got the calculator one. Nah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Got to round off to two sig figs, right? Comes out to like 115 or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, 115.3. But two sig figs, so the five makes the one goes to a two. 120. 